Hey everybody, it's a demo. Uh, yesterday, two individuals were arrested in Courtside, Arizona for chalking outside a um, city council meeting before it started. Um, I decided to call the Courtside Police Department to get a comment, and this is what happened. Hello? Is this Mr. Freeman? Yes, it is. is this Sergeant Frost of Courtside PD? Oh, how's it going? Um, I had a few questions, and I just want to let you know that I'm going to audio record this uh, for my report. But um, I was concerned. So who are you? Excuse me. Who are you? Oh, I'm with who an are you? I'm with an organization called Coplock.org. And I had a okay. few I had a few questions about Michael Roth and uh, Dana, I believe Staplefield, or excuse me, let me get the name correct. Um, Looking at my notes, it is Dana Statler. Uh, I believe they were arrested yesterday. Are you aware of this? Yes, I am. Uh, do you know who the arresting officer was? No, not this time. You do not. Uh, do you know what their charges were? Hello? Sir? We'll give you a press release later on. Um, we find out more information. Do you know where that press release will be available? There today sometime. But I mean, where will I be able to access it? What's that? How will I be able to access it? And email. Do you have... Would you like my email address? Yeah, go ahead. It's uh, ADEMO at C-O-P-B-L-O-C-K dot O-R-G. But do you have any thoughts on uh, whether chalking a public sidewalk is a crime? Well, we can't discuss anything right now to uh, see what's going on. They won't give you a call back, but get through the press release. Well, I'm just asking you, though, personally, aside from whatever incident was happened yesterday, do you think chalking public property with children's chalk is a crime. No. <clears throat> you do not? Who's oh. this? Hello? Hello, who's this? Uh, who am I speaking with now? Is this? Um, who am I speaking with? My name I'm is Adamo. Excuse me? I'm at the courtside police department. Okay, and your name what's is? Your, what's your question? I am wondering if chalking a sidewalk is a crime and if that's why Michael Roth and Dana... Defacing public property is a, is a crime. Um, but children's chalk doesn't damage or deface anything. It washes off with rain. Uh, defacing public uh, property is a crime. Uh, making threatening statements uh, along the way. Uh, I, you know, this wasn't a child writing on a sidewalk. So it's okay for children, but not adults? Mm, I didn't say that. Oh, I thought that's what you were implying by... You asked me what the crime was. I, I told you defacing public property is a crime. Okay. It's criminal damage. And, and that's a it's sidewalk. Criminal, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, is there anywhere I can get the uh, pictures of the chalking incident? Um, we'll probably be doing a press release sometime later today. Who are you with? Uh, I'm with a... Are you, a are, you, are you with the press or who are you with? Yes, I'm a member of the press. We have a website called copblock.org. Okay. We're also holding a national Chalk the Police Day, uh, Saturday, October 1st. Right, right, right. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, and uh, we feel it's a freedom of speech. You know, if I'm allowed to carry a sign, I should be allowed to write down on a public sidewalk with children's chalk uh, my, you know, beliefs. Okay, well, in Arizona, uh, it's, criminal, it's criminal damage if it's with intent to deface public property. Okay. Do you believe that the do you believe that's the best uh, use of the taxpayer resources, is to arrest folks who are damaging... That's, a, that's the uh, Arizona statutes. Okay, but I mean, obviously, I don't know Let who I'm speaking with. Do you, do you feel it's appropriate for a uh, person to make threatening statements, uh, uh, writing on, on anywhere on public property? I don't know of any would statements. You, Nothing say, has been... Would, would you say death to the council is an appropriate statement? I don't know. Is this the same council? Would you, think a child, would you think a child would do that? I don't know. I can't speak for other people. I can only speak for myself. Sir, who, what is your name? Okay. You're an officer, right? Are you do, refusing do to you identify want, yourself? Do you want, would, you, would you 
want a copy of the press release when that's done. Absolutely, but I'd like your name first. Okay. Where, where would you like that sent to? I've already given the gentleman my name, but I'd like to know your name, sir. You don't seem well, to be wanting to identify yourself. Well, will you please identify yourself as a public servant? No. Is there any law in Arizona that says you have to? You want to, us to send this to you or not? I absolutely do, but I'd also like you to identify okay, yourself. Well, then you need to give me some information. Okay. My email is ademo at copblock.org, C-O-P-B-L-O-C-K dot O-R-G. Now, I'd like to ask you kindly, dot sir. Dot org. Yep, copblock.org. Uh, yes, can I have Jeff Gilbert, please? Um, he's not yet. Can I take a message? Uh, whatever officer was just talking to me that was in there, he hung up on me, so I'd like to speak to him. Okay, they have both walked out of the room. And so, they, um, who, who are they both? Excuse me? Who are they both? What are their names? Uh, um, it was Officer Fresda that was talking to you. Fresda? I, I can't hear you. Did you say Officer Fresda? F-R-A-S-T-O. And who was the other one? Um, I'm not sure who was in his office. Well, you said you just seen them both walk out. I thought maybe you would have recognized them. I just saw cars leave. Ah. Uh, um, so no officers are in the office right now? No. And what is Fresno's or Fresda's rank? He's a sergeant. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thanks. But so as you heard in the phone call, uh, Officer Fresto, F-R-A-S-T-O, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, uh, claims that the individuals were writing death to the council, uh, stuff like that. Threats are not something that I would condone, but uh, there seems to be an ongoing battle between the authorities in courtside and uh, Mr. Michael Roth. So maybe, you know, this gentleman has been pushed to the limit so far, you know, uh, that he, f he does feel such needs. It may not be something I condone, but uh, as you see in the blog post, there is an attachment that states 80% uh, of the police force, and I believe they only have 10 officers, so that means eight out of 10 uh, filed complaints against the chief for uh, favoritism towards friends, um, ordering them to arrest other individuals that he does not like, as well as council members, and it seems that this council member, which Officer Fresco uh, related that the chalking was death to the council, um, seems to be backing one another and it seems to be a very corrupt system down there so before we pass too many judgments on uh, Mr. Roth's uh, and Dana's uh, actions maybe the police should be a little more transparent and uh, accountable with their you know actions as police officers with the authority that was given to them by the people so again if you'd like to call the uh, courtside police department and let them know that chalking is not a crime um, that they should call 928-927-4644. I've also included the chief's email, the police website, and the number to the jail where these, these individuals are being held. Um, thanks. Never cut the ugly, raped my mother, deceived my sister, separated my brother, murdered my children, hung my father. Now they want me to rock the boat, the fuck's why You've made liberty your life's goal, but something seems to be missing. Stickers from LibertyStickers.com. Exercise your freedom of speech with the world's most dangerous bumper stickers. That's LibertyStickers.com.